Storytelling by Edgar Guest Most every night when they're in bed and both their little prayers have said, they shout for me to come upstairs and tell them tales of gypsies bold and eagles with claws that hold a baby's weight and fairy sprites that roam the woods on starry nights. And I must illustrate these tales must imitate the northern gales that toss the native man's canoe and show the way he paddles to. If the story comes, if in the story comes a bear, I have to pause and sniff the air and show the way he climbs the trees to steal the honey from the bees. And then I buzz like angry bees and sting him on his nose and knees and howl in, pale, in pain till mother cries. That pair will never shut their eyes while all that noise up there you make. You're simply keeping them awake. And they just then whisper, just one more. And once again, I'm forced to roar. New stories, every night they ask. And that is not an easy task. I have to be so many things. The frog that croaks, the lark that sings, the cunning fox, the frightened hen. But just last night, they stumped me when they wanted me to twist and squirm and imitate an angleworm. At last, they tumble off to sleep, and softly from their room I creep and brush and comb the shock of hair. I tossed about to be a bear. Then mother says, well, I should say, you're just as much a child, you're just as much a child as they. But you can bet. I'll not resign that storytelling job of mine. Thank you. Sounds just like me.